I had a really great question in the comment sections the other day about doing engine swaps. So we're going to talk about some of the parameters that need to be changed whenever you're going from like a 5.3 to a 6.2. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage and this is a video I probably should have put out a long time ago and it is around engine swaps. A lot of you guys with 5.3s out there like to go to 6 liters or 6.2s and I always get asked the question, can I use the same ECU? Generally, the answer is always going to be yes. There's a couple uh, catch-22s in there uh, specific to the controller that you're using. But on 4th gen and 5th gen, almost all the controllers are universal. Uh, so we're talking about E38s, E67, stuff like that. Uh, those have support for multiple displacements. And in fact, I've got an ECU opened up over here on the whiteboard. Let's take a look at it. First thing that we want to kind of look at is our calibration details. This is an E38 uh, GM Gen 4 V8. So as long as that platform was used to run the engine that you've had, it should work. Now, something else that you need to keep in mind is crank and cam triggers. It changed from third gen to fourth gen and there's a little bit of overlap in that weird e40 zone where there's the 24x versus the 58x you need to make sure that your ecu is set up for whichever one so if you've got a third gen 5.3 you're not going to be able to put a six or a fifth gen six liter or six two in there because the crank triggers are different it's not going to work but as long as you stick in the same generation it will for the most part work and the big thing that we need to look at right away is general engine size and so if we open up our calculator up here and pull this over and we take a look we've got eight cylinders and we're saying this is times 0.66592 that's 5.3 liter now you could just plug in six and divided by eight six liters going to be a 0 0.75 say we're going to six liter you could do that. You're better off though doing a compare file. Let me open up a compare from a 6 liter or 6.2 or something like that. That's going to be in the same kind of generation. So G8 GT. And you can see 7.5 liters is what the 6 liter uses. And this is critical because this is the volume that volumetric efficiency uses to go through and actually do the calculations. If this is not right, nothing else is going to work. That's the first thing that you've got to do. Now, a lot of these other tables, you can probably leave the same as they were for the 5.3. Don't get distracted by all of this green showing that there's differences between these tables. That's not a big ordeal. We're still going to have to tune it. Uh, you know, now granted, if you've swapped the hardware over, if you go from a stock throttle body to a uh, six liter throttle body, you're going to have to adjust things like ETC scalar area. That's a good one to adjust. But a lot of the other stuff will carry over just fine. Don't get too caught up on it. Same ordeal down underneath here. Now, you can adjust the mass frequency to match uh, based on the engine that you're on if you're running the same intake that came with the 6 liter. And so things like that, if you just swap in a 6 liter and you have all the stock stuff on there, feel free to copy a lot of this stuff over. But if you haven't, if you're doing a custom setup, a lot of this stuff you're not going to need to bother copying over. Uh, same ordeal with all the uh, VE stuff, etc. Electronic throttle uh, shouldn't really matter on the ones that don't have a manifold size on it. Uh, variable camshaft, make sure that if you're going from one with a variable camshaft to one without that you disable that. The rest of that gets shut off. You're going to be fine there. And then finally, we're you know looking at some of the fuel stuff, and specifically the flow rate any of the injector data that needs to be set up, copy that stuff over. Um, so that's the big takeaway from this is that you've got to make sure that you've updated your cylinder volume, copy over the tables that are relevant to a six liter versus a five liter, things where volumes are changing, sensors are changing, etc. Go ahead and copy those over. And if you want to be safe, just go into your comparison log and 
copy over all differences. Boom, we're done. So not that hard. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out whenever you're doing that swap. Uh, as I said, do your due diligence on the front side. Make sure that the ECM that you have in your vehicle is one that supports other e vehicles. Most of the time, it's going to be one that you just need to adjust the volumetric uh, calculation on and copy the rest over and send it. Listen, you guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Remember, ABT, always be tuning. <music>